Millstone Creek Orchards in eastern Randolph County was preparing for another fruitful season when stay-at-home orders hit. Very scary, I will tell you, that it was very scary as it started. Scary because the orchards wondered if they had enough to keep the apple barn market going. I have a bakery and we have canned goods. So from salsas to pickles, that kind of fit in that. So I wanted to see if I could somehow adjust it that we could get the food to the people while also bringing more people in with other ideas. That's when Beverly Moody with Millstone Creek Orchards recruited other growers and farmers to create the Apple Barn Mobile Market. It's great. I mean, I really enjoy being a part of it. It's exciting, and I'm really happy that it has taken off and done as well as it has. The mobile market started with three vendors. Now it's up to about 12. Customers can come to the store and buy farm fresh products from mobile market participants or order online. Salsa, cantaloupe, some of the fresh bread from bees. So they're able to do a lot of their grocery shopping. We fill that order and then here within the next couple hours we'll be delivering to them. For V Patterson, participating in the Apple Bar mobile market is extra special. My daughter actually uses the mobile market because she has autoimmune issues and she's um, staying at home as much as possible. Most of the vendors with the Apple Bar mobile market like Goat Lady Dairy have experience with retail sales, but for at least one person, this is their first time getting into retail sales. A blessing and overwhelming to see how the community has stepped up and really started to support small farmers much more. The Apple Bar mobile market was born out of necessity but it looks like it will keep on rolling. Initially, I would have said no because it's definitely outside of our comfort zone. So it's been it's been challenging to de deal with some of the issues, but I think I'm changing my mind. In Randolph County, Charles Ewing, Fox 8 News.